Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create an author archive page, which means we're going to create an archive page, which is going to list down all of the articles, all of the posts that are written by that particular author. Okay, so let's begin. So if you take a look at the template hierarchy, you would notice that uh, since this is an archive page, it follows this hierarchy. Uh, it says author archive, so it's going to look for these templates. So in case if you want a particular author to have a separate template, you can use author hyphen, whatever the nice name of that author is, or author ID, or you can just create author.php. So this is in case if you would like our author page to be handled differently. Otherwise, we've already created an archive.php page, which uh, is going to be used by default. But since we are going to create a custom uh, template for the author.php, that's why it's going to follow this route. Since it's going to encounter this file, it's not going to reach here. So it'll use this file to render the author archive page, okay? So basically, if you go to users, uh, you can see that there are a couple of users here. And this user, which is me, has written around 82 posts, okay? So if you click on view, it's going to take you to the author page. Now, how do you create that? We go back to our theme and inside of the root directory, we create a file called author.php. So it's a root of our theme. We create a file called author.php. I'm going to paste the code for this template and that code will be available on the Aquila GitHub repository. You can take it from there. So I've pasted the template over here. Okay, and then I'm going to explain to you what's going on here. So this is basically just comments. Uh, then we have the get header. If you want to get the author information onto this particular page or author.php, you can use get queried object. This is just for your information. We don't actually need it. We don't need to have this author variable. It's not going to be used anywhere. But I'm just letting you know that for some reason, if you want the author ID or any other information from the author, you can always use get queried object. So just want to print that and show that to you. And I'm just going to return null for now so that we don't see anything else apart from this. So if you go to view, you can see that uh, it's author Kathy. That's the name of the author, author slug basically. And then this is the user object. And you can see that all of the information is there that will log in the password, the email, uh, the user ID, Okay, and the display name as well. So all of that information regarding that author is there. So just in case you wanna use it, you could do that. I'm gonna leave this get queried object over here in case if you wanna view it, but we don't really need it, okay? Then we have this div, we have main, container. We also have the header template, which we will come back to uh, in a moment. A header template is gonna contain the image name and the description of the author. Then we wanna display the, a message saying that articles written by that particular author. So get the author function will be available inside of author.php. And uh, using this, we can render the name of the author. Okay. Then we have a standard WordPress loop, which I've already shown you in the author.php, which we have already discussed inside of the archive.php. In the previous videos, where basically we are rendering the posts that have been written by this particular author. So if you run this loop, it's gonna automatically pull the posts written by this particular author. So WordPress already handles that, okay? And if you ever wanna see what's going on, you can just see, say global WP query. So this WP query is available here and you can always see what's going on. Return null. And refresh, you can see that we have a WP query, you have author name, you know, all the other information if you want to see about that uh, you have query object yeah you have the request whatever query is being run you can always paste this inside of the uh, php my admin or any other uh, mysql workbench that you're using and you can see what's going on these are the post information uh, that this particular user has okay so let's remove that Okay, so this is using this template, uh, which is basically going to render all the posts. And then this, in case if the posts are not available for this particular author, it's just going to render the template, which is content none. Okay, and then you have a standard pagination. Okay, 
Now let's go on to the header and see what's going on there. So here we have this function available called get the author meta and this function is available because we are already inside of the author.php and we're using this header template which is this header template inside of the author.php that's why these, these functions the author related functions will be available and we have created a template part uh, so we have created a directory called author inside of which we have header.php so we get the author email uh, we have created a custom function called author has avatar author has avatar and the reason why we created the custom function is basically uh, to check if this author has an avatar so I'm sure you must be aware that there is a platform called Gravatar. You can, if you upload your picture there, any website who, any website which supports Gravatar is going to automatically pick up the image from there. So we want to check that information if the user has the avatar or not. Uh, and another reason of creating this custom function is because in case if you are using any other plugin uh, for uploading the author images from WordPress itself, then we can check that information whether it's been uploaded or not okay so for now we are not going to get into the detail of this function that will be in the next video but for your understanding uh, it is just checking if the user has avatar or not okay so that we can display something default in case if it isn't available then get avatar function basically is going to get us the avatar image so it's going to return the image element with the author avatar so it's going to take the author email as the first parameter, the size, so basically the width and the height, default alt class, default 404. And then inside of this header, we have two columns, column one and column two. And these, this is the left column, this is the right column. And inside of that, we are just checking if, it, if the user has avatar. If he has, then we're just going to echo it out. Uh, otherwise, we're going to print his uh, initials, first name and the last name. So get the author meta is gonna get, get us the first name and then the last name. And uh, we're gonna use JavaScript to generate initials out of that. So if it's Imran Soya, go we're gonna use JavaScript to pull the first letters, which is I from the first name and S from the second name or the last name, okay? So we'll come back to that in a moment, but just to let you know what's going on over here. All right, and we've got just a bunch of styles over here okay uh, which I will show you in a moment and then in the column two we basically have the author name so get the author is going to get us the name of the author we check as long as it's not empty print it out and then get the author meta description is going to get us the description of the author in case if you've added anything in the back end let's say if you edit this one and you added any biographical information then that's going to be displayed inside of this description element okay all right now if we go back and if i check mine you'll notice that you've got the header so that's your header okay so let me show that to you so that's header so that's your header the first column is basically getting us the avatar so see the first column this is our first column this is our second column the first column has the avatar which is basically this one and then has the image so this get avatar function is rendering the image so that's what is being echoed out that's the image then this is going to render the first name and the last name so notice that and that's going to be rendered in case if the avatar is not available but in our case it is so that's why it's not rendering this part but I'll show you for the other one in a moment okay then you have the name in the second column you have the name of the user or the author so we get get the author we have an h1 tag so that's the name this is the description so you can see the description is wrapped inside of the p tag so that's where the description is coming from uh, so that's your header done go back to author and then you have the site content so that's your site content inside of this the first one is the name of the author so that's where we check if the author name is available then go ahead and print out articles written by and then the name of the author so articles written by and the name of the author over here okay then inside of the row we just have these articles so we are running a loop in case if the articles are available it's just going to render that template and we've already talked about how this uh, template is generated in the previous videos 
So that's, these are all the articles. Then you have the pagination. So if you go down, you have the pagination. If you click on that, notice in the URL, you've got this page uh, slash two. So that's the second page, third page, and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. Excellent. Brilliant. So now in the next video, we're going to talk about how we can generate the initials in case if the author image is not available and how we can actually upload the author image from WordPress admin dashboard. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please start my repository to support my work and follow me on GitHub. And do follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.